Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have every single one of you back here again today. Today we're going to make a Barbados Sunrise. That's not to be confused with a Paradise Cocktail or a Rainbow Surprise, although they do look similar. However, if you're looking online for this cocktail, you'll see it in one of two different ways, the Barbados Sunrise or the Barbados Surprise. However, they're the exact same cocktail, so don't worry about it. It's just all about personal preferences and what you enjoy in the cocktail. But before we get into making the cocktail, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. The first thing we need is a little bit of white rum. In this case, I'm using a little bit of Acardi white rum. It's a good old standby and great in many cocktails. The next thing you want is your orange juice of choice. In this case, I am using a store-bought orange juice. However, it is unsweetened because this will be a sweet cocktail. The next thing we need is a little bit of blue curacao, and this will give us our blue sky effect. We also need some homemade grenadine. In this case, this is a one-to-one -one grenadine, which is one part sugar, one part pomegranate juice with orange liqueur cooked into it. And for our garnish, we need an orange slice. All right, we're going to make this cocktail in two parts. It's necessary, but it is so easy to do, even though it sounds complicated. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab your rum of choice. Now I'm using the Bacardi here, and we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Now the reason we're making this in two halves is because our next ingredient, which is the blue curacao, is specifically heavy because it's sugar dense. So what we need to do is dilute this a little bit so that it floats on top. And we're gonna use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Look at that. Now, some people will shake this to dilute it even more. You don't have to, but it's totally up to you. Next, you wanna grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a highball glass and totally up to you, your choice. Grab your grenadine. Now the first thing you need in your grenadine is half an ounce, which is 15 mils. Oh yeah, look at that color. Next thing we wanna do is grab a spoon. So depending on the glass that you're using, you wanna add your ice a little bit at a time because you don't actually want to splash the grenadine all over the sides. So you're just gonna use your spoon like so, just to sort of keep everything kind of nicely together like so. And after that, simple, easy, away you go. Nice and beautiful. Grab your orange juice. Now, one of the reasons I suggest using an unsweetened orange juice is because the grenadine and the blue curacao are sweet and they will give you all of the sugars that you actually need for this cocktail. So for this, we're going to use three ounces or 90 milliliters. Looks good. And we're almost there. Damn it, I got uh, grenadine on my hands. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your mixture of rum and blue curacao, and you wanna grab your spoon, which apparently I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm going to place it right here on the ice. Now, I'm using this because it's got a pour spout, use whatever you want, but you wanna pour it on slowly so that it floats on top. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now, before you finish this, grab your knife and you just wanna slice up half an orange slice, just enough to put in the glass like so, and there you go. Now you have a beautiful tropical Barbados sunrise. Grab your favorite straw, in this case I'm using a steel sipping straw, and I don't wanna wreck it. However, you're gonna wanna obviously throw your <laughs> throw everything around and just give it a bit of a mix because what'll happen is everything will stay flavor-wise the same. Mmm, sweet full of orange goodness, just the night hints of pomegranate and blue curacao and the rum is just there. It is not overpowering at all. Mm. What I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time on my channel, 
please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps to bring these videos to you. You have a great day. So let's get into it. So 